Hi, this is Julia Insect Deli in Renoise version 2.1.0, cutting up the skull snaps break beat. Here's the sample. In sample editor, this is a skull snap sample, 95 BPM. In the bottom, this gauge part, you want to make sure it's set to 09 effect. That way, when you highlight the wave, individual waveforms like that, the corresponding values are going to be needed in Pattern Editor for inputting values in the effects column for sample trigger. Um, again, these values correspond with the different where the sample is located in the in the oh, where the sound is located in the sample so in pattern editor i'm going to cut up the hi hat and track one um putting the hi hat in every eighth note in the effects column going to put 0, 9, and then next to the 9, those two digits are going to correspond with the values for where the hi-hats are in the sample. So I'm going to input 0, I mean, yeah, digit. Seven. And these are the values for the hi-hat. So that's the hi-hat, but you can hear there's surrounding sounds from the rest of the sample. We want to isolate the hi-hat, so in the volume column, going to put a zero to isolate the hi-hat, or more or less. So in track two, I'm going to cut up the kick. I'm going to put the kick at different intervals uh, on line zero, line eight, line eight, and line 18, line tw one C, line 20, Line 28, line 38. So in the effects column, going to do again like in track one for the hi hats, going to put a 0, 09 and the place in the sample where the kicks are located. So did I put it? Okay. Zero nine. Oh. Oh. Zero nine nine zero. Zero and zero nine. So we want to isolate the kicks.
the same way we did with the uh, hi hats. Uh, like, put a zero in the volume column. Oops, that's not the volume column. It's not a zero. Picks are more or less isolated there. Uh, in track three, I'm gonna play back all these at the same time in a second, but in track three, I wanna isolate the, or cut up the snares, put the snares in there. Uh, snares are gonna go on line 10. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Line 10, line, 24, line 28, line 30, and line 3C. So, oops. What up? Go to the effects column, put 0, 09 for the snare, the values that match the where the snare is. And whatever sample that you're working with, it oops, hello, come on. A so want to isolate the snares. Putting a zero in the volume column. And playing it back. So that's a snare, and the other tracks together, they kind of sound like that. Um, so, so that's the recut up um, sample, but uh, you can, from there, use the effects commands to change them up more if you want. Uh, one of the other commands you could use or you could use the sample tri trigger command actually for time stretching purposes if you say want to elongate this sample say the hat um, and in this bottom note put it to zero nine and then just take note of the start point with C1, so make the end point, I don't know, in the sample, C, where's C1? Oh, here, um, like C7, I guess, uh, or maybe C, maybe more like C9, or something like that. And then go to the top, one note select and just select that whole little section the effects column interpolate if you don't have the shortcut key just go to right click selection interpolate linear and that should stretch that note so that is for the snare and that's stretching it um no, that's not the snare, excuse me, that's the hi-hat. Um, some of the other, let's see here.
could use uh, retrigger is another effect you could use. Um, it you can put it in either the volume column as E and then a number E the letter E, or you could put it in the command in the effects command thing here as zero E and then if is which is a little more precise, but it would be zero E and then the first letter number or digit or whatever after the E is the volume at which you want the re-trigger to sound, like if you want it to be kind of low or I put two. And the second digit is how many times it's gonna fire off for that line. So put like two, three. And it will it should affect this note, the one above it. So it's kind of hard to hear it, but you could put put it also in the volume column if you want E and say four, something like that. Anyway, um, oh, another effect I was using for this file was the reverse command, which is B zero. Um, B zero plays it backward. B one plays it forward. So, um, like that. Uh, the rest of this file, I actually have other just basically um, cut up the sample some more and use just the sample trigger, retrigger, and reverse, and I think that might be it. Oh, no, maybe also pitch in here, changing octaves of the notes, which you can do here, uh, and changing the pattern lines, you can do that here as well. Um, this is the rest of the file that I did for this sample. the cut up of skull snaps in renoise version 2.1.0